Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So believe it or not, if we head to the calendar, Windows 10 has got literally just over a month left of support, where on Sunday the 14th, that will be exactly one month until Microsoft ends support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October 2025 which will be the patch Tuesday, the second Tuesday, and that's when Windows 10 will receive its last security updates and quality updates according to Microsoft. Unless, obviously, you sign up to the ESU, as we have been talking about on the channel. Now, in regards to the end of support of Windows 10, Microsoft, as we have been talking about, has been doing quite a bit of assertive marketing, for want of a better word. If your Windows 10 PC doesn't meet Windows 11's specs, Microsoft is recommending upgrading to a new Windows 11 PC. And it says it's important to responsibly recycle the old PC, which I said was cheeky. Now, I did notice today, while just doing some checks online like I do every day for the purpose of this channel, if we head over to Windows 10 22H2 known issues and notifications. Microsoft has updated the status regarding that end of support. Now, nothing here has changed. It still says you will no longer receive fixes for known issues, time zone updates, technical support, or monthly security and preview updates containing protection from the latest security threats. That remains unchanged. But once again, and Microsoft says, to help you prepare for Windows 10 end of support and options for moving to Windows 11, the options include check if your current Windows 10 PC can upgrade to Windows 11. Obviously then if it can't, Microsoft still wants you to purchase a new Windows 11 PC, although your current Windows 10 PC can run Windows 10 perfectly fine, which I think once again is still cheeky. Or, as we can see, you can purchase extended security updates and you can enroll your personal Windows 10 PC in the ESU like I have for the purpose of this channel. And as mentioned for home users, you get one year. I've covered this quite extensively on the channel and then for corporations and enterprises, you can go up to three years. And just take note, long-term servicing branch and long-term servicing channels releases are subject to different support and life cycle policy so they won't be affected so they won't be affected with this end of support for your so-called mainstream windows 10. now while we are talking about the esu i have seen quite a few comments on the channel that although we've literally got a month left end of support a lot of viewers of this channel are saying in the comments that they still haven't received the option to enroll in the extended security updates program which i have done already as mentioned now things are starting to get a bit tight and i have posted a video on this that microsoft said that it's on a gradual rollout and you will eventually get it but we've got basically a month left and there's still a lot of users who are not seeing the enroll option which will appear here on your Windows Update page when you do get it. So in a lot of regions, Microsoft is so-called leaving things to the last minute regarding that enroll option. And I have a playlist on this channel which I'll leave here in the end screen if you'd like some more information regarding the end of Windows 10. And I did say I would be covering this leading up to the end of support and beyond. That's why I signed up for the ESU. To obviously keep a lot of you in the loop because there are still plenty users who are running windows 10 as mentioned on so-called unsupported hardware and the os is running just fine but because microsoft has a couple of strict hardware requirements you won't be able to upgrade and microsoft still wants you to purchase a new windows 11 pc which as i've said numerous times on the channel is a little bit cheeky and as to what I'm seeing in the comments, I think most viewers are 
are they going to run Windows 10 unsupported on that so-called unsupported hardware? And a lot of you are also going to be moving over to the ESU. But I haven't seen too many comments of viewers running out to purchase a new Windows 11 PC, which would obviously be first price for Microsoft. But nonetheless, just keeping you guys posted, as I said, I would leading up to that end of support. Just over a month to go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.